to really enhance the appeal of your your game you're going to want to add a competitive element so we're going to look at adding a score now um, to do that we need something called a variable which is a number that can change in the game go up or down um, and we're going to create our variable on the stage so make sure you've got the stage selected and you get a new blank panel click on variables down here and make one call it score and click OK now you'll see that the score window has just popped up here but on my stage I want to do a couple of things the first thing I want to do is make sure that score is zero when the game starts so control when the green flag is clicked variables set score to zero now we've got to think about when do we want the score to change and I want the score to change every time the ball hits Rooney so I've got to go and find the piece of script that I've written that makes something happen when the ball hits Rooney that detects or senses rather when the ball hits Rooney that's not on Rooney it's here on the football and it's this one forever if touching Rooney that's the bit so if that is the case then I want to change my score by one there we go so let's try this out of course it starts at the slowest possible let's try again there we go one two three four and so on um, now I'm going to show you something and leave you with a little extension task um, we're going to go to paint new sprite we're going to choose the rectangle and we're going to make it pavement grey we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and drag a very thin rectangle along the bottom like that okay there we go and we're going to call that floor now using the techniques that you've just learned I'd like you to set the floor to go to the bottom of the screen at the start of the game and if the ball is touching the floor it should bounce upwards and it should take one off the score so floor at the bottom ball bounces upwards when it hits it and one comes off your score have a go